Morning. This is Arnie Waters here at Waters Capital in Boston, Massachusetts. Uh, gold is trading about sixteen twenty-four, up about four dollars this morning. Uh, we don't think much is going to happen in the gold world today. Uh, we've encouraged our clients to retain their long positions because we're holding firm to our sixteen twenty-four. Excuse me. We're holding firm to our twenty-four fifty uh, projection for the year. Uh, what is happening now is that the uh, euro has continued to settle down. We think the euro will be down to about uh, 120 uh, by the end of the year. The reason the euro is turned trending down is the European economy is a mess and it's about to get worse as they go into a round of refinancings. The big difference that has changed, in my opinion, is that no longer do we fear the, a, cat a catastrophe in Europe. Europe's just going to muddle along. This problem will come up. The Hungarians, the Italians, the Greeks, the haircuts, uh, it'll come up. It'll go away. The Europeans somehow have found a way to agree to not let the world come to an end. Uh, we also want to point out that the European difficulties uh, present a great problem for China. We actually don't do very much business in Europe on a relative basis, you know, 10, 12, 14 percent. The Chinese do a tremendous amount of business in Europe. And uh, that's another reason why uh, Premier or Chief Dictator Wen or whatever he calls himself pointed out that the Chinese economy is going to be in a period of difficulty. Uh, secondly, uh, we see that, uh, you know, on the uh, oil front, uh, one of the more troubling developments lately has been that international firms are coming into the United States to buy up gold, excuse me, to buy up oil, uh, black gold. Um, and so uh, we find this quite troubling, and we think that there ought to be some action to make sure that these oil exploration things are controlled by U.S.-based companies. We don't want to, if we're going to develop all this oil that's in our borders or in our neighbor to the north, Canada, uh, we need to really uh, be sure that we're controlling our oil supply. We don't need to replace uh, Saudi uh, shakes with Chinese dictators and, and uh, French wine merchants. Uh, secondly, as I indicated before, uh, the European refinancing is going to come to the fore, and uh, that may have some difficulties, but we don't expect there to be any serious problems. Uh, lastly, in the foreign policy area, um, you know, the Iranians are awfully smart. The Iranians are in a big internal mess, so the more they distract their uh, uh, populace with threats from abroad. Uh, it, when you're in a totalitarian regime, uh, that's one of the classic moves. We reported this to you about uh, Russia a lot over the last six or eight weeks. We're seeing the exact same thing going on in, in, in Iran. Uh, whether or not this leads to military action against Iran by the United States, I doubt it very seriously. Uh, because it's too easy to prevent the uh, Iranians from taking the one action that they might take, uh, the, this action at the Straits of Hormuz. Uh, in addition, I'm sure that you would find a number of other nations who are utterly dependent upon that flow of oil through those straits uh, taking military action before the U.S. would. On the rare earth front, uh, we're thinking that a neodymium demand is going to be demand is going to be up quite a bit this year. Neodymium, neodymium, as you know, is used in extensively in hybrid vehicles, cars and trucks, and in uh, wind turbines. So this is Arnie Waters. Go home flat. Take it easy. Enjoy your profits in gold. Treasure them. Uh, you notice that we've added a high yield focus to our front page. The reason for that is that uh, we think the high yield uh, bonds that have been marked down by the credit agencies uh, present a tremendous high profit opportunity over the next year or two. So if you've got any questions about that, please give me a call on 781-380-8888. Keep swinging.